Alright guys, so in today's video, I am going to be going from noob to pro using the Kamaki Akuma in Shindle Life Roblox. So yeah guys, let's hop straight into today's video. Alright, so here we are in Shindle. If you go to edit, right now we look like Killer B. We don't look like Kawaki at all. So we need to go ahead and change that. Let's go to character and let's go ahead and change our outfit to look like Kawaki there we go we look like kawaki i was gonna go for the younger kawaki but we did do a video on that a while back because we are gonna be using our kamaki akuma for today so yeah let's go ahead and use uh it and yeah kawaki does use fire style i don't know if he learns any other more natures we have only seen him use a fire style so you can go ahead and equip fire style there we go so yeah we got his kamaki akuma and we got his fire nature so we basically all done this is pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i think i think we did pretty good with the drip let's go ahead and get into play and let's get started with today's noob to pro guys so yeah let's go to village ember and let's get started so his moves are pretty expensive luckily i've been saving off camera some rio okay to get the mode you need to get the bloodline to level 400 let's go to the hokage's office and try to reset our rank since yeah we need to start from level one since yeah we are doing a noob to pro so you can't be level 1000 i think we can finally go to rank s let's quickly check since we are rank a3 uh there was a guy each time you rank up a letter grade you will rank up to s1 there we go we have left the a rank now we are in s rank there we go there we go ranked up we are officially are level one there we go i'll take that uh let's go ahead and go to start points we got, we got 6k start points we're gonna go ahead and put gonna put 3k there i'm gonna put 2k there i'm gonna put 1k into our nin and we leave our hp for later there we go so we got 2k into our chi 1k into our nin and 3k into our tie so yeah that's pretty good let's gonna equip some fire moves uh will you, I, i'm actually gonna go ahead and pick the first fire move which is gonna be flame bullet we're not gonna go for like the strongest one because kawaki only knows a weak fire move doesn't know a strong one so we're gonna go ahead and go with this weak move but yeah let's go ahead and get a green skull mission to start off today's video off okay let's go ahead and accept the mission okay it's so right there not too far that's perfect for us so yeah let's go ahead and do this green skull mission try to get some levels then we're gonna hop into this training logs this is fire style there we go okay that one move finished them off so these are m1 and there we go let's go uh the more we level up the more fire style moves you're gonna be able to unlock so yeah there we go let's see what level we get level come on level 30 let's see level 30 come on level 40 if yeah, that's possible yeah there we go level 43 44 50 there we go come on okay we couldn't get 60 but at least we got 54 i'll take that any day let's try to at least get to level 100 before we can hop on the training logs but yeah let's go in and use our fire style oh we didn't kill him there we go we got our combat anyway you can use m1 no he killed us because we literally have no hp all right let's go ahead and put the okay but i don't know how we didn't kill him there okay there we go we got 992 our hp let's get back up and this time we should win guys there we go on the final one 7k hp but that's light work for us there we go kauke akuma level 38 pretty good let's see what level we get now 79 all right i'll take that i'll take that there we go we got 1k into a hp bloodline at 44 okay level 98 what i want to do is i want to go to martial arts guys i want to go for the vanishing clone since kaoki does learn uh shadow clone zutsu from uh naruto of course okay, it's gonna be the last one so we can gain the last couple of levels that we need to make the level 100 as soon as we make it to level 100 we can unlock a new move okay level 99 i'm just gonna take that let's gonna unlock these two moves there we go there we go we got this move right here and let's go to use this move oh there we go let's go we got our kamaki all the way to level 70 there we go now it's time for us to go on the training log so now we can actually gain mastery for our uh bloodline so yeah let's hop on here on the training logs there we go let's get started and yeah see you guys in a bit
Alright, so I'm back. So it's been a while since the last clip since I was working on a video. But before I left, I made sure that I was able to go ahead and get my bloodline all to 528. That means we can go ahead and unlock the first two moves and the mode. The first move is called Kamaki Style Blade of Island. Let's go ahead and buy that. Next move is going to be Kamaki Style Destructor Disc. Let's go ahead and buy that. And let's go ahead and unlock the mode and the mode is for free okay that's good let's gonna equip the mode and equip the blade of island and the destructor disc first let's go ahead and try out the blade of island okay so it's like kawaki's blade like he has with his arm since he's like a he's like he's like a ninja tool basically a scientific ninja tool so yeah that was a very cool move next is the destructor disc so this move we get like two of them and just go like with the combo which is pretty clean now it's finally time to go ahead and try out the form let's go ahead and try out the mode there we go yo nah this is clean wait wait i'm okay i'm gonna turn off the i'm actually gonna get rid of the the vanishing clone but this is clean we got the, the sisano like rib cage with the arm and we got kawaki's like claw that's pretty cool and we got like the curse mark as well to get the second form you need to get to 800 and it, let's check if there's a third form uh you have to the boromaki versus Kama, uh, kamaki akuma event all right that's how we get that mode okay we need to get that in today's video so yeah so this is the m1 of the most a very cool m1 so look, look at the drip we got come on look at this we got the horn we look oh my god what is this guy with the minakaze okay let's try that again so yeah our mode oh i like that red effect what was that okay okay you can go okay let's go and try out the c spec in three two one c spec okay so we got the hand and he like grabs and he just like wax the thing away all right so he grabbed and wax away oh, that's pretty cool let's go ahead and try the e spec okay the e spec is like a dash and like i think like a genjutsu kind of but let's go ahead and try the q spec in three two one q spec yo that was, it did like a, a circle then like all these spikes started coming up nah that was clean that was clean let's try that out with the moves yeah this is a very clean bloodline i'm not gonna lie all right i'm back so yeah, it's been a while since the last clip like you can see me all the level 938 uh sorry 39 and that's by me that's going in and staying on the training log so let's go ahead and check our bloodline level our mastery in three two one go uh it seems like we have maxed out at level 2000 i've never seen a bloodline before maxed out at 2000 i thought the max is like 1500 I guess I was wrong. I wasn't planning to make it all the way to level 900 and max it out the bloodline, but I guess it's fine. Let's go ahead and check our start points. Let's go ahead and put let's go ahead and put some start points into our cheese so we can buy the rest of the moves. We got so much start points. There we go. Let's max out everything we have. So there we go. So there we go. This is our start point so far. When we make it to level 1000, we should be able to get this maxed out at 5000 and like 500 i think but let's go ahead and buy the new move which is going to be kamaki style blade of inferno unlock that move let's get an equipped it and since we did get our bloodline mastery over 800 we could unlock the new mode so let's go ahead and, and uh charge up so yeah there we go first form let's look at the blade of inferno in three two one there we go all right so we hold on tight with like our seasonal armor we do like a, we do like some combos with like two blades then we do like a spike at the end like a massive spike that comes up which is pretty cool now let's time for us to try out the second form of our kamaki akuma in three two one there we go yo we only got the curse mark now and you can see i love when you transform the curse mark like becomes red just like kawaki's and now we got the sis i know look let's, this is our block yo nah they did crazy with the flames the flame looks so nice so this is sis i know right there let's look so the m1 is pretty clean as well he's m1 let's go ahead and yeah use it on the training log the very cool m1 i like the flames i like the lights that come from it so yeah let's go ahead and try out the c spec in three two one go oh or oh, the c spec is the same it's like the spike like earlier or oh, is it the same or is it different i can't really remember what the first one looked like but yeah we can still use it what oh this is the c spec all right so it's like all right i don't know why it showed it's a different move Oh, I think because I pressed V by accident. So that was the V move. The C spec is with the Cicero and it's like slamming his hands down, which is pretty cool. Look at it again in a couple of seconds. Let's go ahead and try out the E spec. So this is the E spec. Ooh, I like that. Now I think we like throw it. Or is it a counter move? 
but like the sister note we got our sister note like holding like this circle thing i think it's a counter move I'm, but i'm not saying sure it might be so you have to like click it twice for it to work this is the c-spec again it's like using our arms let's look at the q-spec i'm not saying sure what the q-spec does but let's look at the e-spec once more so i think yeah the e-spec is a counter so we're gonna have to try that out in a green skull mission let's go click go back to ember yeah i still have no idea what the q-spec does and i literally can't move or attack i think i'm stuck e-spec again there we go got them let's go all right finish that and it seems like we're actually stuck on our sister no mode i think i'm gonna use our e-spec we're stuck in this mode or oh, is it the q spec move i have no idea okay i think that's our q spec so we use our q spec so okay i think i understand the q spec now so we never use our q spec uh if we stay in the sister no mode we don't leave it so for example if i use q now we stay in this mode we don't have to block or attack to be in this form so i guess this is pretty cool so we can stay in the form for long as possible But all right here we are finally made to level 1000 so he did like a couple more he did like four or five green skull missions since the last one and i think we did like four or three green skull missions since the last one i made to level 1000 there we go let's go then so our start point i'm gonna put everything into our chi so basically everything is maxed out so now guys i'm first gonna obtain the kawaki boss and the only way to get it is by doing the boromaki versus kawaki akuma event which we can have to go back to our main menu okay so all right so we go to play and now you have to go to the event which is right here the boromaki versus the kamaki akuma boss right here we are let's do explanation mark skip skipping after this part all right but if you pick the boromaki side does that mean we fight kamaki we're gonna go for the boromaki just in case because if you're on the boromaki side that means gonna help boruto right but i think we have to wait for like the scroll to drop you know oh look at that form that form is insane I don't think we we're gonna be able to beat him with this bloodline. Maybe we use like a different bloodline until we get like the scroll drop. Cause it's gonna it's gonna take us more than one like try to get it. Yeah, we have better than any damage so far. We might gonna have to, we might gonna have to go and use Xeno Dokai just to help us defeat the boss until we get until we get the third form. Then after that, we'll get rid of Xeno Dokai because we're not gonna be able to do anything. We're a bit too weak. Uh, he's too powerful this boss and it's only by ourselves so that's uh, so, yeah i think that's the only way for us to have a chance is by using xeno dokai so i'm probably gonna do that oh my god finally oh my god you guys don't understand how long it took me it took me like three four hours oh my god i thought i wasn't gonna get it every time it drops a scroll but there's nothing in it i think it's because i already claimed the item before a while back but he dropped like the same scroll like seven times in a row and the past like eight kills he hasn't dropped a single scroll but he finally dropped the third form you guys know how happy i am this took me so long to get let's go and look at it there we go third form oh that's the first form oh that's the second oh there we go for some for some reason said first form but it's the third one yo look at us nah we look cold oh my god look at this okay okay let's go to village ember and actually showcase off this but here we got the full mastered sisano i don't have to showcase off this properly because it's so big like the way they made it like you can't see it properly 
But look, every time we're walking around, are we flying every time we walk? Wait, do we fly when we walk around? I think we fly, yeah, instead of walk on the ground. So that's pretty cool. We got that thing in our arm and we got like this rod or is that a sword? Wait, it's like a spear kind in our arm. I really like the, I really like the, the hair because it's very unique. I've never seen a sister with hair before. But let's go then look at the Q spec in three, two, one. It's gonna be the Q spec. Okay, so the Q spec is like the other Q spec, so we stay in our mode, which is pretty cool. There we go. So we stay in our mode. Okay, so yeah, whatever. This is the M1, by the way. So we throw like that thing in our hand and use our spear to attack. I really like how like our wings like flap around. It's pretty cool. So yeah, this is the block and this is just the M1. Let's look at the E spec. So that's the E spec. Oh, it's it shot like it shot like a rod. And what is going on? It's like planetary devastation. All right. Okay, I have no idea what's going on. Literally, like, shot like a rod out and like planetary devastation came out. So, let's go ahead and look at the C spec. So, oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, that was like black lightning. That was insane. All right, that's a very cool E spec. But yeah, this mode does take out a lot. It does take a lot of MD, so you can't use it a lot since it makes our MD run out super fast. And look at our stat points, basically it got everything maxed out. So that means it uses a lot of MD. But let's go ahead and use this mode in a green scroll mission. Let's see how strong this mode is. And let's go ahead and destroy this guy. There we go, C-Spec. Let's see how much damage that is. It didn't finish them off, that's quite unfortunate. Let's use our Q-Spec. E-Spec, there we go. Okay, so they do get sucked into the planetary devastation and yep oh let's finish them finishing them off one by one you can see the scroll like f coming down from the planetary devastation we ran out of md all right so this form does take a lot but it's very it's worth it i guess because it's a very powerful mode so yeah that's going to be it guys for today's video so today you did go from noob to pro using the kawaki akuma in shindo life so yeah if you guys did enjoy today's video drop a like and subscribe let me know down below guys which bloodline i should be using next or also let me know down below guys which tail gen 3 beast i should be doing next because yeah in the last video i did go ahead and do the eight tails but i still got all of these gen tail beasts left to do i got all of these the only tail beasts i don't have is the third and the nine tails but i will be getting them but just let me know down below who should i pick for the next video but yeah also let me know like i said which bloodline i should be doing next because i literally have no idea i've done so many bloodlines i still got there's still more for me to do i just don't know let me know what i should do next but yeah guys hope you enjoyed drop like subscribe and yeah catch you next time peace out